friends. I'm going out for a walk and on my way, if I can find some moss, I'll pick up just a teeny bit out of it. So today I'll be talking about how we can pick up some moss, uh, forage some moss, very little, uh, because you don't want there to be no moss in the world, and, and how to clean it up for use in small terrariums inside the house. But you can always buy moss, live moss from Etsy or some other websites. And so whenever I go for a walk, I always carry a, a bag, a Ziploc bag or a plastic bag and a plastic knife. I just It's generally rest in my pocket and it's super easy. Always remember that we have to be very responsible when we pick up plants, mosses and other things from nature. And um, I generally take permission or I try to grow moss in my own yard, which I've tried and sometimes it works i have a very little patch uh, growing in my pot that i sometimes use uh, it's just that i don't have any access to that in winters and i buy moss it's taking me forever to make that uh, pet moss the, the moss you get for live pet terrariums to get green again but it's getting there and you definitely do not want to get any moss from the forest areas because you need to save environment and the ecosystem right there. I'm walking, looking, this spot, and it's spring, so nothing is green other than some grass and some moss. And this area gets a lot of sun, so I rarely see any moss. This is a spot where I always see some moss. But, right now, oh yeah, here I see, look at that, some moss. Okay, so just to let you know, I already have some moss at home that I collected yesterday. But on demand, I'm just making this video to show how I collect it. Okay, here. Don't worry about all the things, pine cones and needles that will come with it. We can always clean it. Now I use a knife and scoop it out a little. This is in the yard. Not really yard, it's like sidewalk. And it's okay if it breaks a little. This is, and then we already have more moss here. I'm not going to pick that up because I want this area to have plenty of moss so that every year I can pick up a little bit. There is some moss here too, but I am generally not interested in this kind of moss. I like more like this fluffy kind of moss. And see, there's moss growing everywhere. This is my favorite spot. Now, I have this bag. Right here, I'm gonna pick this up, put my piece of moss here, close my ziplock, my knife is here, it just goes in if you want to, and I'm good. The next step will be how to clean it. I gathered and, and you can see that it has some things attached to it like leaves, pine needles, what I'll do is I'm just gonna soak, okay let's see here, I'm lucky that this one doesn't have too much clay type material stuck on the back generally it's easier to clean if you do not have too much dirt but just like these dry particles 
the other day I had some which had clay on it and it took me forever to clean that so now here I just put up the bucket with some water this one is soaking in water sometimes I let it uh, soak for hours it depends if the moss I gathered has more uh, dirt which is more like clay really stuck in there then I would soak it for longer here I also found this interesting plant growing there I don't know what it is but it grows every year in everyone's yard some kind of weed but I find it interesting I wonder if I can grow it now let's see still has but if you see this these are the this is basically moss uh, uh, attached to the surface so it's kind of dead you can remove it but then if you remove it the whole thing will fall into clumps so you don't really need to depends on how you want it but this one doesn't has too much dirt oh yeah here yeah, yes and look at the spores these are the like if I end up growing more of these on my moss then I consider that the moss is growing for me now what I do is I take a sieve I have a special sieve only to uh, rinse the water uh, drain the water that I use for my plants so that I do not get dirt and fumix uh, and the um, and other kind of solid stones or anything in my sink and then I can just dump this collection from the sieve in my garbage bin now here I'll put it back in this bucket you see all that green I like it even if it's really tiny piece I keep it because eventually over months it grows into a nice clump of moss so this is like gold. If your moss is too dirty, if your moss is too dirty, you need to clean it again and again with the same process till your water turns out to be clear. This is getting much better. I do have some pieces of moss stuck here. And the other thing I do is if I'm not able to pick up these small pieces of moss in from my sieve, I find a shady spot in my yard where there are higher chances of a moss growing, which is because there's not too much sun and it stays wet, relatively wet. And I dump the whole thing there in the hopes that I might grow, end up growing more moss there. I can always be optimistic. gonna keep the moss aside because I want the water because I want all the fine needles and dirt floating in the water removed okay. I think I'm pretty good I, I just got lucky with this moss Now that once I am satisfied that my moss is clean enough, I am going to add some dish, liquid dish soap in the water. Just a squirt will do. I'll make it nice and ready. Just for fun's sake. And then I put my moss in there. This will hopefully kill any bugs or larva that larvae or eggs that I don't want in my moss because I have a lot of indoor plants in the house and I wouldn't want anything to go uh, infest my indoor plants. 
Sticking back, it's gonna come out shiny. Okay. Okay. So I will carefully drain the water, making sure the moss doesn't get back. Oopsie the sieve because then it again gets mixed up with things I don't want it to get mixed up with. Is my nice big jump, my special moss. It's turning out to be nice and clean and green. Um, I'll try to keep the water very slow so that I don't hurt my moss and make it break into smaller chunks. Make sure that all the detergent is washed off. Okay, here you go. Looks like it's pretty much washed. Now, oh, I found things that are still stuck, but it's pretty much clean now. Hmm. Now, you squeeze your mask nicely to get any extra water out. Get this pretty one. It's now nice green and it has absorbed a lot of water and it's, it has fluffed up. Keep it on one side. Let's finish up with other pieces. Now few things about terrariums. If you were thinking of making a terrarium, you need to know that the moss needs to stay moist. So you have to choose a container either which can be closed which or which has a really small mouth uh, opening or, um, or if you're ready to mess the moss many times in a day. Because here in Alberta, it gets really dry, especially in winters. Also, while picking up moss, you need to see what kind of environment it was in. Was it under full sun? Almost no sun? What? And accordingly, you can provide it the right kind of humidity and light in your house. So let me just finish this and then I will talk more about what to do after you've cleaned up the moss. Okay, so here my moss is nice and clean. These are smaller pieces of moss that I just cannot throw away. Because each one has a potential to grow into a bigger chunk. Before I tell you... How will I? Uh, where, how am I going to put it uh, on a substrate? I would like to show you this. This is a mo the moss I previously collected, and what I've tried to do is I put some of it on a mesh material, and there's perlite here. Um, but then I realized that some of the moss that's directly put on perlite, the perlite gets stuck to it because moss will try to get away to the for light and for my projects i do not want that i want my moss to be neat without anything stuck to it especially for light which is white and it will just show up now the other idea is this is lava rock it's 
So lava rock tends to absorb water and it's a very good surface to put my moss on. So what I did was I put a little bit of moss on the lava rock and I put it in the box, cover the lid, spray with water once in a while and it's perfect. My moss is going is fine and maybe over the time it will start it will attach itself to the rock and then I can just use the rock like that. Maybe pluck a little bit and that should be good. Here, you see initially when you pick up a moss and after a few days it might not be as bright green as you think but it takes time uh, over the time this moss will get green again more and more green main thing is you mist it with water cover it and once in a while open the lid otherwise there's a chance of mold growing on it and if you see any mold growing on it don't get scared just remove the mold with a cotton bud or something and let your moss air and if you find that there is a piece of wood or something that is causing the mold remove it keep it away let it air out or just don't store it with your moss okay. i found this uh, i found this felt roll i found this felt roll um i basically wanted felt fabric but i didn't want to purchase the whole thing so i went to dollar store and i happened to find this felt roll for craft and what i decided was oh, that this will be a good substrate for my moss because felt soaks up water well it wicks up water and then eventually if my moss is able to stick on it or um, adhere to it I'll be able to cut the fabric in whatever shape I want and use it for my projects now since I don't have a lot of moss I'll just cut a smaller piece I will nicely soak my felt piece in water squeeze out any excess water here is your moss it goes here press it nicely all the pieces go here You don't want your moss to be soaking wet otherwise the dead parts here the, uh, of the moss can start rotting you don't want that and this is anyway not an aquatic moss mm. for a lot of my projects i use aquatic moss too and i try to include water as one of the elements in my terrariums so that the moss can thrive in water and also some of the material I use can wick water and that way the material can wick water and in a way moisturize the moss that is on the dry surface. Hence the need to um, spray water becomes less and less. This is the moss I collected the other day. For now, I covered it with a clear stone. Here, this is a small piece of wood with moss, but otherwise, this is the moss resting on leaf. And you can see here, I don't know if you can see here, there is a little bit, uh, there is a spore. Uh, thingy the round thing and it's getting a little whitish fuzzy that means there's some mold going there all I need to do is I'll just 
remove it and I will let my moss air for a bit. Okay. I'm going to spray some water and I can spray water on this one also and for now I'll put this piece of moss in my bowl also the fabric will keep releasing moisture now I'm just gonna again cover it but leave a little bit of opening here for the air to go in so I don't want any more than that in my experience initially first few weeks when I try to grow uh, the moss uh, I often get a little bit of mold but initially I used to get worried but what happened was I would clean it up and let it air down and over the time I would see that there's no mold happening I like there is no new mold happening there so it's a good sign I think the whole ecosystem takes over and the mold eventually whatever has to appear generally appears in the first few weeks and if you remove it it takes care of it unless you have something really nasty going on there interesting thing I've been doing is trying to revive some of the dormant moss live moss they sell in the pet stores so basically it is not it doesn't have it, it is not preserved it's supposed to be used for frogs and um, and crabs but to my disappointment it was green and then when I washed it and kept it in a closed enclosure it turned brown brown or maybe like almost like lightish green and but I kept on I, I had read that sometimes they come alive so then over the time I noticed that this part here started turning green yeah. so it's kind of promising even in my other projects it, they're turning to green I like the color like a little yellowish it, it adds some texture to the, my projects but it would be nice if they can turn green of course so I will keep working on it spritz water once in a while and close the lid wait for a few months and see if it can get greener